All right, what's up? So a couple months ago, someone came over to my place and he said something that made me stop and think. He said, hey, you've set up a lot of events before. You've run a lot of events before. He said, you should make a video on, on how to set up events and make sure that people actually show up. Like, how do you do it? And so here I am, this is the video. So before we begin, I wanna start off with a story. And the point of the story is to illustrate why this stuff is important. So I was in, I think it was high school. And at the time, I, I've never really done this stuff before, right? Like I, I, I didn't really have like a large group of friends. I didn't really know how to find people to invite to these events and stuff. So I had a couple people that I knew and I really liked going to karaoke. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna set up a karaoke event. And I remember going on a run around my house and I got a message from one of the guys that I invited. I invited, I think like five-ish people. And he said, hey, sorry, I can't make it to the karaoke event anymore. And I remember like, this was at the end of my run. I was like, oh shit, fuck. What, what about the other people? And so like one by one, it was like a domino effect. Like they messaged me, like one of the guys, I, I remember this so clearly. One of the guys said, hey, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go. I don't think this event is a good idea. Maybe it'd be a good idea if people were like drunk, but I don't think people would have fun. Like, I don't think this is a good idea. And flash forward to several years later, I've hosted karaoke events. So like low key, fuck that guy. <laughs> but I remember finishing that run and being like, fuck, I wanted to go to this event because I liked karaoke. I wanted to have fun. And now I have no one to go with. So I just didn't end up going. So the entire point of this video and the entire point of the story is I want to help you guys make sure that when you do set up events, people show up. And so this is what I've learned from like years of setting up events. I've probably set up, I wouldn't say a hundred, but like a lot. I've set up a lot of events. So let's jump in. The first most effective way to do this and to avoid what happened in the story is number one, find a commitment buddy. So what a commitment buddy is, is it's just someone that you know, that you trust well, that will commit to your event, right? So going back to the example, one of the reasons why that karaoke event failed is because I only sort of knew one of the guys that I invited and the rest of the other like four guys, I didn't really know very well. And so you can see how they like one person dipped, they probably told the other person, the other person dipped. And then because I didn't really know them that well, no one really had that much of a reason to commit. So there, there's two ways to do this. The first is, you know, the person really well. And the second is you find someone that you sort of know well, but they're so down to go to the event, whatever it is that you're setting up, right? If it's a hike, they fucking love hiking. If it's karaoke, they love singing. Like it's just something that they're really down to do. Or if the event is really cool, like that helps too. Like I think I organized a ninja tag event and a lot of people were excited about that because it like the trailer just sounded cool. I just sent the trailer to people and that got them excited. But the best way to do this is to first start with this commitment buddy because what you do is you find this person and then step two is the logistics step two is the logistics so the reason you need a commitment buddy is after you have this person you too can talk amongst yourselves to figure out when the event's going to happen and what time it's going to be and what where are the places so th those are the three parts that let me like show you all here right this is the this is the full sticky right here right so time place and what does it say date time place that's all you need just three things and you have all the logistics figured out and the reason you do this is because if you try to coordinate amongst a group of like four or five people it's a nightmare like it's literally a nightmare like people are like oh you know i'm not free this time some people don't respond and then like closer to the date someone's like oh sorry i can't make it so then what do you do in that case do you like change your entire plans do you like it's it's a nightmare final in person someone that you know will commit so you know the event's happening and then plan out the date time logistics and then you start inviting people then you start step three this is step three focus please then you start promoting and you might ask how do you promote the best way that i've found this is the full sticky is through one-on-ones so i've done a lot of experimentation with this i've messaged group chats i've posted on my instagram story i've dm'd people i think i've even called people the best results is always one-on-one. -on -one. So that could be a one-on-one -on -one message to someone. It could be a call with someone. It could be you meet up with like a friend or someone IRL and you mention it to them one-on-one. -on -one. You're just like, hey man, I'm setting up this thing, right? If you're interested, just send me a message and let me know. And that's that's how you do it. The, the issue with sending a message to something like a group chat is not everybody's gonna respond. And some people 
don't respond in group chats like like literally some people just don't i don't know if it's like shyness or whatever but they're like ah you know there's a lot of people here so i've just found personally that you get a way higher success rate if you do it one-on-one -on -one. the only exception to this is if you're using something like a discord or i don't know if people do reddit anymore i've, I've done that before any sort of platform where it's normal or a given for strangers to show up so for example, Reddit, meetup.com, Discord. So if that's the case, then you can still do step one. And I still do step one, this commitment buddy, to know that it's happening. But if it's normal and a standard for strangers to show up, then you know that's not something that you have to worry about because the platform does the promotion for you. So that's it. Uh, recap of the three steps. First is find a commitment buddy. Once you find your commitment buddy, figure out the logistics with this person. You, all you need is a date, a time, and a place. I can't tell you the number of times I've been invited to something and people don't tell me like where it's happening or the date and the time. So like those three things are at least the minimal logistics you need to figure out. And then third is you promote it. And you do this through one-on-one -on -one promotions. You ask your friends. If you want to, you can make it open invite and you ask your friends to invite their friends. And this is a great way to meet people that are like-minded because if you're friends with someone, chances are their friends' friends also have the same vibe. And then that's it. And then you have your event and you meet a lot of people and you increase your network and you increase your connections. One more thing that I'll pass off before I end this video. Ideally, you should be excited about your event. And I know this sounds like counterintuitive but i've made this mistake before where i've hosted events either because someone asked me to or because i wanted to help someone with something and the issue with not being really excited about the event that you're hosting is when you're promoting it really comes off right and and this is this is what i've learned through this this one event that i'm particularly thinking of i tried to promote it and i was like man i'm not getting the same response like people just don't seem as excited for it and i figured out after like thinking about it that it was because i wasn't excited about it and so i found reasons to be excited about it i was hosting it i helped organize it so i could change the event so i decided to bring my camera and then we did like fun photo and video shit and so that was my way of bringing in my own type of vibe and excitement and that helped in promoting it and inviting people to come to it because I was actually excited about it. So if you're gonna host an event and go through all the work and hassle to do this, at least enjoy it. And if you initially don't, then find reasons to enjoy it or to make it yours and to make it exciting to you. All right, that's it for this video. If you do use this to host an event, I hope your event goes well. And as always, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.